hi guys welcome back to my channel if you want to know how to get your hair smooth and silky like this keep on watching i was really impressed with it, how it came out with this uh 30 dollar flat iron it's so healthy and i'm in love with it so um if you want to see how i did it just stay tuned don't forget to like comment and subscribe what you want to do beforehand is wash your hair with your favorite shampoo and conditioner. Okay, so jumping right in, what I'm going to do first before I use my Revlon um, blow dryer brush to blow up my hair before I flat iron it, I'm going to use this Icy Fantasia heat protector and hair polisher it's a straightening serum um, I'm just gonna use a little bit because I want my hair to be like flowy and stuff so I went ahead and washed my hair and heat protectant to my hair and really work it through blow dry All right, so I'm going in with this Revlon blow dryer brush. Uh, I really, I really like how it works. Um, you gotta really concentrate it on your roots because the heat is coming out at the bottom of the the brush, like on that flat part. So that's why I'm really taking my time and combing through my hair to make sure that it's dry. My hair does take a long time to dry, so. I do pay close attention to the roots, especially um, this. You can use like a regular blow dryer and a like a, a comb attachment, but I prefer the brush. It's just more comfortable in my hands. I'm left handed, so I'll be like clumsy sometimes trying to do my hair. But this brush really makes it easy. You're detangling and blow drying your hair at the same time. Okay, so I'm in the bathroom now because I needed to use the mirror. Um, this is a flat iron I'm using. I got it off of Amazon uh, for under $40. It's a Kaposi flat iron. I like this flat iron. I was thoroughly impressed for it to be so cheap because um, I see a lot of people using, like, what, that Baby Bliss? I, I never looked at the price, but I always assumed it'd be more expensive. But I like it because... It has a digital temperature control. Um, the highest it goes is 450 degrees, and it heats up really, really fast. Um, the flat iron itself is pretty wide, so if you do have shorter hair, I would recommend getting like a, a smaller, a smaller flat iron just so you can uh, get to your roots better. But I'm gonna go ahead and take my. Um, fine tooth comb and use the chase method to flat iron my hair and what that is is you just hold the comb on your hair and uh, make it go in the same direction as the flat iron so your strands all go in the same direction um, and the steam is from the heat protectant I'm not burning my hair um, and you want to use heat protectant uh, that's how you get rid of the chances of you having like a burnt hair smell and my ends are pretty ragged so i'm gonna go ahead and trim those now because i can see it better when my hair is straight Uh, I have a little trick that I've seen just so you know where to 
cut your hair my ends are horrible as you can see but the line where i'm supposed to cut is pretty obvious just showing you guys on camera how much i'm taking off and what i'm cutting and you really don't want to hold on to those dead ends just let it go it is hair it will grow back you know and keeping the dead ends uh actually causes more breakage because your hair like can split the entire shaft can split so just get rid of them while you can um i'd say every every three months or so i would trim your hair depending on what styles you wear and also wearing low manipulation styles can help your your ends um be more manageable and less unruly